How to find your why. So, what is your reason for getting out of bed every morning? A lot of people spend a great deal of time trying to find their why. This is their calling in life or their purpose. Some find it, but a lot don't. In this video, we will give you all of the tools that you need to find your why. It is very important that you discover your true why. This will enable you to pursue those things that will provide you with ultimate fulfillment in your life. Once you know your why, you can make the right decisions and take the most appropriate action. Finding your why. This video is all about finding your personal why. In a later video, we will discuss how you can find a why mission statement for a business. To get the most out of what we are about to recommend, you need to be prepared to think inwardly and answer a number of questions about your life up until now to truly discover your why. We recommend that you write down all of your thoughts in a journal. If you don't have a journal, then now is a good time to start one. 1. What can you do to improve the lives of others? There are not many feelings better than doing things that will provide more benefit to others than they will yourself. There's been a lot of research showing that people with a true purpose and an attitude of gratitude usually end up making a large contribution to the world far beyond themselves. When you are grateful for what you have in life, you appreciate more the role that others play in your life, so you develop a greater need to give back. There are many ways that you can do this, such as making donations or volunteering to help others in need. Believing that you can really make a difference in the world is a great thing to have in your personal why statement. It will provide you with a true sense of purpose and a real mission in your life. 2. What activities did you participate in that seemed to make time pass more quickly? You will no doubt have heard the old adage that time flies when you are having fun. In the psychological world, the experts call this the flow. The activities in your life that make time pass by quickly for you are your passions. When you do things that you enjoy, you will have more energy. This is living your life's purpose. Most people do things that drain them of vital energy, and as a result, they are exhausted each day and time seems to pass very slowly. 3. What did you enjoy when you were a child? It will help you discover your why statement by thinking back to your childhood and the things that provided you with the most enjoyment. So, get really introspective here and reflect on the story of your life. You will soon discover specific patterns that occur over and over again. It is possible that you will identify activity trends as well. Take a good look at these patterns because they usually hold a number of clues to your purpose in life. Some of the things that you enjoyed as a child you continue to enjoy throughout your life, so identify these. As we get older, it is easy to lose sight of the things that you really enjoyed in your childhood because of the pressures of growing up. These pressures act as passion killers. When we become adults, we tend to focus on things that bring a reward to us. This often creates a disconnect with the things that we are really passionate about. 4. What things will you do even if you look stupid doing them? When you are learning a new skill, you will need to start from scratch. If it is something that you really want to do, then you will practice this skill in front of others no matter how embarrassing it is for you. You are certainly going to make mistakes the first few attempts that you make, so you will have to take all of the embarrassment this brings. So, what things will you do even if you look stupid doing them in the beginning? Maybe you can't dance and this is something that you've always wanted to do. You see good dancers on TV and are in awe of their talents. If this is a passion for you, then you will be prepared to learn whatever it takes and shrug off any feelings of embarrassment. A lot of people miss out on their life's passions because they do not want to suffer any embarrassment. They are truly missing out on the things that they feel are meaningful to them. Have you done this? If so, write down the things that you have not done in your life yet due to avoiding embarrassment and be sure to do them afterwards. 5. What do people ask you to do when they want your help? Are you someone that other people come to for help and advice? If so, what do people ask you to do to help them out? When you have helped them, how do they show their appreciation to you? It is often difficult for individuals to see their real strengths. Other people that ask for your help see you as a natural talent in this area, even if you don't recognize this. So, think about the reasons that people request your assistance and see if there are any commonalities. Here's an example. Many people will tell you that you are a great listener and really good at solving problems between people. If two people have some kind of conflict, then they are both likely to come to you for help. Think carefully about this because you should definitely include strengths like this in your why statement. 6. What would you do if you only had a year left? Nobody likes to think that they only have a short amount of time left, but the thought of your impending death will help you to focus on the things that are really important to you. This is a very effective way to provide you with a real perspective on your life. Ask yourself how you would like to be remembered. 
Don't avoid doing this. Thinking that you only have a year left will make you think clearly about what you truly value and what your life priorities are. This will certainly help you to develop your personal why and give you a sense of direction. 7. What things would you go the extra mile for? These are things that you are prepared to pursue relentlessly no matter what obstacles you confront. You are willing to do literally anything to achieve these things and learn from all the mistakes that you make. The regular action that you will take toward these things will intensify your passion. You can definitely develop passion for different things, but you will never develop this passion if you don't take any action. Write down these things that you want in your life, no matter what, as they are something that you will want to include in your why statement. 8. What would you teach people if you had the chance? This is a great question to ask yourself because it will give you an insight into how you can really make a difference in the world. If you can teach young people, then you will be able to pass on your know-how to future generations. Another advantage of this question is that it forces you to think about the competences you have that you could teach others about. Another good question to ask yourself is, where is there a gap in the knowledge that people have, or even, how can I improve other people's lives? 9. Are there any things that you currently do at work that you would willingly do for free? What do you really think about your job or your business? Are you really passionate about it? When you are passionate about what you do to make money, you will enjoy it a lot more. You will not feel apprehensive on Sunday nights about Monday approaching. Think about the things that really come easy to you when you are working. What kind of things that you would willingly do for nothing? Okay, it is not going to be everything, but when you can align these things with your why statement, you are on the right track. 10. What things do people thank you for? If you provide your assistance to others in your work life and personal life, what are the things that people thank you for a lot? Maybe you are good at advising people on the decisions that they should make at work or in their own lives. Do you take the time out to help your friends and family? If so, what kinds of things do you do for them? Remember that you are unique and that the help and advice you provide is unique as well. This is really good for your why statement. 11. If you were financially independent and could do anything that you want, then what would you do? Not only should you think that you are financially free, but you also need to believe that you can do anything. Asking yourself this question is a very effective way to uncover your real passions in life. Most people are motivated by money and choose to do things in their life which provide them with the highest reward for the skills that they possess. If money is not a factor, then the other precious resource that you need to consider is time. So how would you spend your time if you didn't have to worry about money? 12. What was your happiest childhood memory? Think back to your childhood again and identify your fondest memory. It is likely that it was something that you gave up as you got older due to other pressures. Maybe you really loved acting in the school play and receiving the applause from the audience. If you really liked something like acting, your parents and your teachers probably talked you out of it. They would have seen it as too much of a risk for you and steered you in another direction for your own good. You can add this passion to your why statement. Use all of these questions to figure out what your why really is. They are all thought-provoking, so please take this seriously. There is nothing more important than finding your why and your true purpose in life. To get the most out of this exercise, you really need to look deeply within yourself to discover your true passions. Once you have done that, you will want to add them to your why statement and do all that you can to achieve them regardless of the opinions of others. In the next video, we will look at how you can write effective why statements. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.